Hello, my name is Stephen Kelman and today I'm going to briefly chat you through creating simple drop caps and initial caps with Adobe InDesign. Now for this tutorial I'm using the A4 Serif series grid system I created for InDesign. Let me just show you this now. You can purchase this uh, and other and design grid systems and style sheets from the links below the video. Now, this is the paragraph that we want to recreate. So we've got our drop caps and then we've got our initial caps at the top of the paragraph. Uh, now, the, one, the first thing we want to do when we're recreating this is to create our drop cap style. Now, in this example, we're using the same typeface as the rest of the project, and that's Adobe Caslon. So all you want to do is simply select some of your body copy, go to your character styles, new character style, and let's call this new drop caps character style. Now that we've got our character style there, you can see it. We can go and go ahead and create our paragraph style. And so that's the paragraph style that's going to have our initial cap. Let's, let's delete this initial cap, first of all. So we've just got serif justified. Um, that's fine. So we've got our style without the initial drop cap. So let's go ahead and duplicate this style. And let's call this new drop cap paragraph style. Let's select that there, new drop cap paragraph style. So all we want to do is select this paragraph style. And we'll go to drop caps and nested styles. Let's select one, two, three for our lines. And we're just one character. And remember to change your character style to that new cap, drop caps style we created earlier. Let's click OK. Right, that looks fine. To me, we could increase uh, the spacing in between our drop cap and beginning of those first three lines there and you'll see they're quite tight in the letter so that's the case we just want to go into our uh, character styles let's go ahead and select our new drop caps character style all we do is go into our basic basic character formats and we change that to something like 75 or 100 just depending on what you prefer uh, let's change that to we'll try 50. That's fine. Okay, and that's us. So that's just a really simple drop cap using the the same typeface from our the rest of the job. In this case, it's Adobe Caslon. Now, one thing that you can also do is uh, add a string of small caps after your drop cap. So, like the example we showed earlier, we we saw earlier. Um, if we want to do that. Uh, all we want to do is create our small cap style initially. So let's do a test here. If we go into, we, so we select one word, we go into character, uh, and Adobe Caslon comes with nice uh, open type drop caps or open type small caps. Uh, so we go to open type, uh, all small caps. And then I usually like to switch from metrics to optical because we're using capital letters and then switch to you know, something like 20, 25, something like that for our tracking just to give us a bit more breathing space. Um, so that's us. We've got our uh, the style that we want and we'll go to uh, character styles. Let's go ahead and create a character style using that style. Uh, and let's call it new initial caps character style. Let's 
that's fine. Uh, so that's us created our uh, new initial caps character style. Uh, so now that we have got that style, we can then add that in to using nested styles into our uh, our body our uh, paragraph style that we just created. So let's go ahead and we'll go into uh, drop caps and nested styles. And then we go to just click new nested style. And we want to use our uh, initial caps character style that we just created. And let's you go up to three words using that new character, uh, character style. Okay, and that's us. So that's us created uh, a new paragraph style for our drop caps and uh, initial caps styles. And then we've added our uh, drop caps over uh, three lines and our initial capital letters over three words. I think that's us for now. Um, if you found this tutorial, useful, please like and subscribe uh, and I uh, hope to chat to you again soon. Thanks a lot.